Hi, my name is Jacob Wolfram and I'm the study advisor for the Master of Environmental Pollution Management, or short ecotoxicology, here in the University of Landau. And in this video, I want to tell you what ecotoxicology is and how we practice it here at the campus of Landau. So in ecotoxicology, we always look at various environmental systems of differing complexity. That may start on the cellular or subcellular level, going to the individual level, so the species level, up to the population level, the ecosystem level, or the largest scales, which can be the landscape or biome scales. And in ecotoxicology, we always work with stressors and that can be, for instance, pesticides, micropollutants, microplastics, nanomaterials, but also abiotic stressors or generally inorganic or heavy metals. And what we want to learn is how these stressors can affect these various systems. For instance, we could observe subcellular or genetic effects of chemicals that alter the DNA, are damaging to DNA, or generally change how the subcellular processes work. But another way could be, for instance, looking at how pesticides affect the population of a invertebrate species and how this may change their reproduction capacity and so on. And here in Landau, we address all of these various scales. For instance, here you can see some laboratory course where we work on the subcellular level, um, looking at an AIMS test, how the cancerogenicity of a substance can be quantified. We are doing in our curriculum as well some basic individual level tests, but also there are experiments on the population level, as you can see them here, or even more complex systems like the industry mesocosm facility, where we actually build river ecosystems that consist of primary producers, invertebrates, or up to fish species that are interacting in these environments and we want to know how they are adversely affected. And then in some cases there are even landscape level experiments such as with Eurofins where there was a field scale or landscape uh, evaluation of the effect of certain pesticides. And the effects that we want to look at in ecotoxicology are quite diverse. Of course in the center we have something like mortality but especially sublethal effects are quite plentiful that we regularly look at. For instance, changes to the metabolism rates, immobilities, uh, lowering the resilience of various clades, uh, compensation mechanisms, and so on. And the actually quite interesting question is always, how do these effects on, for instance, the individual level affect populations, communities, ecosystems or even biomes and that is something that we want to quantify and understand better. And ecotoxicology is a very challenging and interesting field because it always has to address multiple dimensions at a given time. So a stressor can change through space and time and as such it changes how different organism groups are affected. An organism itself is distributed differently throughout space or even throughout time if you think of seasonal variations. And all of these interactions of these various dimensions lead to a very vast research field that offers a plethora of research opportunities or generally research questions, most of which have not been addressed yet and so this discipline always offers new outlooks. To give you some ideas, for example, here there is a from lab to field study. And in this study, it is the goal to better understand how land use or various land use changes can also affect the biodiversity here in Germany. And it's also looking closer at the identification of insect diversity uh, in and around nature conservation areas. But we also want to understand how the insect decline is affected or generally how it has progressed. And so in this project here, the risk factors for insect pollinations are quantified, as well as the exposure pathways that these um, communities are exposed to. 
We also conduct field experiments, for instance, here in the Eusertal. The Eusertal is a special research station of the University of Landau. And in this case, for instance, it was an assessment of the sublethal effects that Bacillus thuringiensis israelensis, or short BTI, can have on amphibians and their associated food webs. But we also conducted large-scale data analyses, such as seen here. For instance, when we analyzed the applied toxicity of pesticides for the last 25 years for the entirety of the United States, and how we observed how toxicities shifted from one species group to another. In addition, we identified large ecotoxicological spatiotemporal trends and also brought them into combination with the adoption of GMOs, so these are genetically modified crops. We also conduct global meta-analyses, which is a systemic evaluation of all available research or literature. And here, for instance, we assessed how the concentrations of various contaminants ranged throughout the world and how adverse biodiversity effects were quantifiable. We also conduct continental risk analyses, for instance here, We conducted or analyzed millions of monitoring data for the entirety of Europe and so we were able to conduct a comprehensive assessment of the water quality for the past 20 years for Europe. In addition, we looked at land use changes and how various chemical classes defined differing environmental risks. But we also have extensive work in the lab, for instance here a group is looking at how the toxicity of nanoparticles can interact with the presence of pesticides and how they affect freshwater biota. And in addition to that, other environmental factors, for instance natural organic matter or UV radiation, can also alter or influence these interactive effects and how they then change or adversely impact freshwater biota. Here in the Get Real project, for instance, this is a large-scale evaluation of the typical communities, so algae, insects and spiders, how they are distributed throughout Europe and how these communities change um, depending on the landscape but also the surface water that they inhabit. And in addition to that, it's also an analysis on how sensitive they are towards various chemicals and that's of course very important for the risk assessment of chemicals in general. There are also large-scale monitoring programs of pollutants, for instance here where there was a German-wide monitoring um, of particular agricultural streams using so-called event samplers. And because we know that pollutants can alter ecosystem functions and their associated microorganisms, that was something that was assessed comprehensively for the entirety of Germany. And also there are very nano or micro scale works. Here, for instance, you can see the impact of bacterial biomass on soil surface wettability. So there's a very small scale experiments that are nonetheless very important for ecotoxicology if you want to understand the processes on a micro scale. And that brings me to an end and hopefully I could give you a bro yeah, brief intro into ecotoxicology in general and particularly how it is practiced here at the campus of Landau. If you want any additional information, feel free to visit our homepage on master-ecotoxicology.de. You can always visit our blog. We keep all our readers up to date with anything that relates to ecotoxicology here in Landau, may it be social events, conferences, new publications, projects, and so on. It's a very quick and easy way for you to get an overview about our program. Also, there's of course our YouTube channel called Master Ecotoxicology. So if you want to watch additional videos on the topic, feel free to visit our channel. And finally, there is always me. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via the email provided here. And with that being said, I want to say thank you very much for your time. And hopefully I will see one of you in the near future.